let's talk about Big Black Coat, Junior Boys album, 2016. I was shocked. I was like, oh, damn, really? Yeah, I remember when when it came out, you 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 texted me like, yo, a Junior Boys record came out. And I go, I thought they retired. <laughs> 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 like, I thought they were done. I thought it was just Jeremy producing for Jesse Lanza. I thought, thought, thought that was it. And you're like, no, they came out with a whole new thing. It came up with Black Coat. Um, 2016, 11 songs, 49 minutes long. Um, I'd say this is the best it, record. Uh, this is one of... Really? This is one of my favorite records. Like, favorite electronic records. Um, it's so damn good. I like the whole pivot, the whole different sound that they make with it, but still staying true to themselves as artists and has some of my favorite tracks on here. And... Like for taking such a long time, you know, five years between making records, you can hear uh, like just the the production quality, the songwriting, the caliber of the record, how cohesive it is, like how much time it took for it. But then the other interesting thing is you can hear some of those ideas and some of the Jesse Lanza tracks that we just talked about. You can hear some of the ideas that Jeremy has kind of forming in those, you know, in, in those five years leading up to Big Black Coat. Um, but I want to hear Bam talk about it. Um, yeah, they definitely did more like straight techno on Big Black Coat. Oh, and yeah. to be to be clear, let's say like techno has become a totally different thing over the past like year and a half. This is now officially like old school techno because newer yeah, techno yeah, is yeah, much yeah. like that's, that's, 180 BPM, like much faster. Like <laughs> yeah. yeah. 180 like i'm getting a heart attack just hearing that um, <laughs> you're just like oh <laughs> um but you know like yeah it's straight to a lot of old school techno um but honestly i think this is my least favorite junior boys record actually. Oh, what <laughs> what <Yeah>. what <laughs> i think it's my least uh, favorite bam get out record. bam let me get bam, some bam, of that that's how fi- ba- that's not some good years. shit you on damn uh, <laughs> Um, probably, I, I really like... Who you the, buying uh, from, Bam? Shit. <laughs> I really like the, um, What You Won't Do For Love, uh, uh cover. I really cover, like that yeah. a lot. I like And It's Forever. I like Love Is A Fire. Um, m and I like a lot. Um... The title track honestly, is amazing. Um, what, what, what'd you say? I said the title track, Big Black Coat, is incredible. Yeah, like, it's cool. Um... I, I think honestly, it's a good I, album ender for sure. Yeah, I mean, I like. I it's not like I dislike the album, but out of all of them, it's my least favorite. Um. And yeah, like, but it, but it's not to say like I don't like it, but I just felt like um you didn't really get the songwriting as much as you got like one twenty five BPM, which I'm always down for. Like I. I love old school techno. I love it. And I love Junior Boys doing that. And I'll, it almost makes me feel happy for Jeremy because I know that's the music he loves. Um, but it was, it was, yeah, I was like, to me, it felt a little just like put together. Interesting. I did not yeah. get that at all from it. I feel like it fits, like, I feel like it's all, it's very cohesive. Like if I my my thing and I always say this on audio face, my favorite records are ones that I can listen to straight through three times and it feels like a complete project and complete work. Um, even better if it's a concept record because those tend to be my favorites. But to me, where an album becomes one of my favorites is if I can put a record on shuffle and it is still cohesive and it still fits. And with Big Black Coat, I can put this on shuffle. I can put this in any order, just about, and it all fits together still. Like. If I put no like no one's business with over it, even though it's a really weird combination, it still fits. <laughs> like, and the way the sound is, the way it's developed over time, like it, you know, twelve years since their first record, it you could hear the maturity in the sound, you could hear maturity in the songwriting and in the production quality. I mean, sure, some of the songs, like even though my favorite Big Black Coat, like it's long, but it's like pure straight techno, like old school techno, and it's what I grew up listening to. So maybe I just have a bias towards that. But it's one album that I have listened to a lot since it's come out. Even like the remixes and other things that have come from it, I absolutely adore it. And 
Um, I, I do love was... the EP that they released after the Kiss Me oh, Away. Well, we'll get to that in a minute because that's my favorite thing that they ever made. But we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say I remember doing fifty of the tens when we did our like reshoot of yep. like the best uh, fifty albums of the twenty tens. We had specific rules where we could only repeats were allowed, but you could only do two albums from one artist, and it yep. they had to be ten apart. Um, and so that made yeah. some of them harder, but seriously. Yeah, this, dude, that list was a nightmare to put to make. It was so we, hard. Fifty of the thousands would be the single only worst episode of Audio Face to make. That <laughs> oh, that, that we, would be that would be probably end our it would end our friendship because number one would end our friendship. <laughs> yeah, but like <laughs> Junior Boys was on. I want to. I, I won't spoil it. Someone go watch the whole episode to see where it was. Yeah. But uh, Baby there. Give Up on it was definitely helped get it on there. It was just like one of those really <laughs> classic moments of indie synth pop in the 2010s. Um, and I really like. I think this has the best and like to me, Bam in the Middle. I think it has the best in both, best and worst of Junior Boys albums in it. I think. Much like so, this is goodbye. It has fewer. I don't. I. I I'll maybe say that I can't play it through as well as I could. Be gone. Don't. Don't care. Hmm. But it has the energy of last exit, right? So I think mm -hmm. execution wise, I think be gone. Don't care was the best execution of a Junior Boys record so far. But big black coat coat was really a modernization of what was needed. Um, and Junior Boys. So Junior Boys just kept creating the same music they made in 2004, 2006, etc. Even with the new DJ mixes, it would have gotten stale, it would have gotten old. But I feel like in 2016, Big Black Coat fits with those bands I was talking about in the beginning. Your M83s, your MGMTs, your Gorillas that have copied them in synth pop. And now Junior Boys is kind of coming back and going, remember, we're the kings. Remember, we kind of started this whole deal here. And it's a really great return to form. It's another thing we talk about in audio phase a lot about how, yeah, I'd say it's all true. Maybe not have been their best record. But Big Black Coat, I felt, returns them so that I think of, um, I think of the band right now. And I don't feel like their future albums have anything to earn. I don't feel like they're... Oh, oh yeah. Junior Boys, they were great, except that last release was really shit. No, I, I can, I, I can, I, if Junior Boys didn't release another record, I could look back at Big Black Coat and go, you know what, they went out on a high note. And that's what I wanted from the record. I can totally see how it may not be your most favorite album, but hopefully if it ended up being their last album, which now we know it wasn't, I feel like it would have been a high note to end on. I thought it was their Thank last you. record. Um like yeah, listening to it and i like we i remember Bam, we were talking about this like we thought it was their last record and i'm like i for me it's a phenomenal if it was was their last record i was like it's phenomenal i love it but yeah i mean yeah. it's not i do like it um but of the it's just like i mean i think dan you said uh, which one uh it's all truth being your least favorite yeah um yeah like for me it's like no i love that like i mean obviously it's subjective but um I do think if like maybe the songs from Kiss Me All Night were on oh. were on uh, Big Black Coat, I'd have a totally different opinion. But that, um, but that, that, that's that's not fair if they did that because then no, I agree. Just, like, I agree. If they if they put like Yes Baby Fat onto Big Black Coat, then you just have like the one of the best records ever. So we can't have that. <laughs> um, no, I like it's a real it's a good album. Um, I feel like when I saw them live when they were touring this album, like they they didn't really play um, very many songs from that album. Um, I, I want to say they just played uh, "Big Black Coat," and um, I, yeah, honestly, I can't remember. Like, I feel like they they played, didn't touch uh, "Baby Give Up." Um. That'd be they, wild to they, Yeah, they probably did. They probably did. They probably did. Um, but it wasn't like they they didn't play like three or four songs. They they might have played two from this album, and, and like played their older stuff. Um, Which is what a um, this is our last tour kind of tour usually feels like, right? Um, luckily, it's not. But um, 
But yeah, but well, then they released the uh, EP after that, the Kiss Me All Night EP, which I thought was incredible. Um, oh it's only God, it's only, it's it's only so four good. songs, but um, like Baby Fat is like one of my favorite. Is really one of my favorite techno songs ever. I wish it was. I wish it was eight minutes. I wish um, it was ten minutes. Yeah. Um, some people are crazy, which is a cover of um, I think his name is John Martin. Mm-hmm. Um. But they did a really good job of that. Um, yes is really good too. Yes yeah. is amazing. Like that Kiss yeah. Me All Night EP is just it's that is my favorite Junior Boys work. The Kiss Me All Night EP. I that's the most I like that is the single most thing I've listened to from Junior Boys. Like since this came out, <laughs> it's like it's like my my uh, Dan's has Dan has a shiny collarbone for the nineteen seventy five as his brains like hold music his brains elevator music and for me it's like yes baby fat kiss me all night is my brains hold music like what what song is playing in your head when there's literally no thoughts going on in your head you're just just, like in between the next task or whatever and for me it's just yes will be playing in the background man in my in my brain sometimes just like that beautiful beat that's going on back and forth and then when he does the layering with his voice too yeah oh i love that too like it's almost like um it's almost like call and response in that second verse, like yeah. with just by himself. I love that. Yeah. Why don't um, you always say yes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I, I mean, my love for Junior Boys is just like, like I, I'm like, how are these guys? Like, wh- how come these songs aren't on movies and TV and stuff? Seriously, probably cause, yeah. Probably because people are racist against Canadians, but I mean, we are, so it's all good. <laughs> but, I was watching um, South Park the other day and like literally they draw the Canadians different. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, real fucked up. But like so yeah, I was thinking that Junior Boys were done as a group. Obviously like Jeremy's released a bunch of solo work like techno stuff. Mm-hmm. Um but it's like yeah, it's just like, you know, it's like releases for DJs basically. Um not not anything he really promotes that much and he he's always he, he built a studio um i think it's called like barton building studio in hamilton um I, re- I remember him saying that before he started doing like jesse lanza like work with like jesse lanza like basically like, they never really made much money as junior boys but he said like when they started doing like the jesse lanza work like he started like make a little bit more money so he's like yeah like I invest in more like studio equipment and stuff and I think like he made enough to like actually build a full studio where like people are coming there to make their own albums. Um, and he's like an engineer and stuff in his own right. But um, yeah, then when 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 was it? Um, in a- August twenty third, we got a brand new release by Junior Boys. I was shocked. I was like, they they made a new Instagram. I was like, what the hell? Okay, he like, <laughs> barely put, like his personal Instagram, which is like random shit. Um, he had like posted something on Twitter, like, oh, there's like some news coming soon. Yeah, that's And right. I'm thinking, they're probably just going to be like, oh, we're broke up, finally. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> It'd be like the, the Daft Punk thing. We got news. Bye. Yeah, exactly. Um, a, a, a big we, post on banner uh, on Twitter, and the top headline that says, bam, you won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mission accomplished. Yeah, but they announced uh, three things. A single called Nightwalk, a tour that's starting next year, and um, an album that's coming out October 23rd, I think, or 28th, I can't remember. Yeah, time to um, And yeah, the Nightwalk came out as a uh, single. I do like it. I feel like it's like, it's, it's kind of like a teaser song. In a lot of ways, it's like, I don't know, like, I feel like, like, Jeremy's clever that way. Like, you want to like, kind of keep you on your toes, I feel like. So you, like, release the song that's, like, very minimal, uh, very muted in a lot of ways, not much. Uh, Doesn't really have a build or a drop to speak of. It's just very ambient. No. Yeah, yeah, it's very ambient. ambient. There's, like... Yeah, it's it, there. Yeah, it's, there's two verses, but um, technically, I guess um, the chorus kind of feels like a bridge. But yeah, I'm like, you know what? I like that. I feel like they're setting us up for some heat for yeah. uh, literally uh, six years later from their last album. 
<laughs> and if this doesn't, doesn't work out, then maybe we'll get something good in 2028. And 